All right, y'all, so we back here for another one, and this time we here to do a music review for Eminem's new album entitled The Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Gras. How I feel about Eminem, I feel like he's one of the greatest rappers of all time, but I do feel like, you know what I'm saying, post uh, Marshall Mathers' LP2, we have seen sort of like a little dip, but I do feel like he still has shown signs of like, you know what I'm saying, life and stuff, especially when he didn't drop albums like Kamikaze and shit, Music To Be Murdered By. Coming into this one, like, especially after he dropped the Houdini track, I actually liked the Houdini track, saw the music video for it and all that stuff. I enjoyed the hell out, out of Houdini. Why I enjoyed this is because, I don't know, for me, it kind of showed, like, Eminem having fun. It showed him getting back into the old, like, Slim Shady sort of, you know what I'm saying, Slim Shady persona. And that kind of goes, like, you know what I'm saying, to the title of the uh, the album, you know what I'm saying, The Delta Slim Shady. After the end of Houdini, I was actually happy because I'm like, okay, yeah, like, this is showing, like, all right, he's, this is getting back to, like, return of form in a way. Granted, he did show that with Kamikaze and Music To Be Murdered By, but I feel like with this album, he sort of taking it into overdrive. Um, just going off, just starting out with Eminem from the jump. I like his performance on him as a whole. Like, I don't know, I feel like he, he's been rapping like he's on a mission or whatever, but at the same time, it's like when he, it's like he had a switch and he just flipped the damn Slim Shady switch on and he just turned into another i just feel like he just went on a whole nother level on this like this shit really reminded me of the marsh like early early eminem like the eminem show marshall's mother lp even encore like it just reminded me of all of that type of shit one thing about him he's always been controversial so stuff that he says in this album it really don't bother me just because of like I get the character and stuff that he's getting back into and then plus like he's rapped like this literally on every single album so none of the stuff that he really does on here bother me now as far as like fitting it into the whole narrative and stuff slim shady sort of like kicks in for me i think around like when trouble starts granted the next song is called brand new dance and then he's you know what i'm saying he's talking about christopher Reeves and stuff in the back of my mind i'm like damn are you still on this oh christopher Reeves tip and stuff but at the same time as far as the song like i like the song for what it was and he just yeah bro it just put me in that that old m state and then you get to like you know what i'm saying the next few tracks or whatever uh, which is like evil all you got lucifer and antichrist these stretch of songs for me were sort of like m getting into his just don't give a fuck, bag. That makes sense. Um, granted, the all you got skit is pretty much like Slim Shady telling Marshall, like, "Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You needed me and you buried me. You know what I'm saying? You tried to walk away from me and all of that stuff." And then we get the fuel, which I'm gonna address that with Jid, both of them. You know what I'm saying? Great song, but Roll Rage, Roll Rage, to me was one of them songs where like. Granted, the song's called Road Rage, and, like, he went on a damn tangent, and it just, it's, the thing about it, bro, with, like, even the stuff that he's talking about on here, like, it, it doesn't feel like he's complaining. It's like, I don't know, he's just sort of, in my opinion, I feel like he's sort of poking fun at, like, a lot of shit. He's always poked fun and stuff, but lately a lot of stuff was kind of like, ah, it just felt like old, it just felt like somebody that's, older or whatever and they just don't like the way shit is nowadays they don't like the time since all that stuff versus like with the slim shady persona in my opinion i feel like he just yeah he's just literally poking fun at everything talking about the lgbt community talking about like the different pronouns and all that stuff and just breaking down like you know what i'm saying sort of like his confusion and stuff i don't know to me it's like it's I, it's like a, it's like a little introspection or whatever on like how he feel towards the whole thing and granted he was poking fun making jokes and stuff like he always do but some stuff that he said was in a in my opinion like especially lyrics like this i feel like it's sort of like him being human like bro like i'm i'm trying i'm trying to really trying to grasp grasp this shit like i'm really trying to figure this shit out overall i feel like eminem's performance was great i like his rapping on here i feel like he's rapping with the sense of like i don't know i feel like he's having fun on here especially compared to like the the last few albums granted he was rapping on those but it just sounds like he's having fun you know what i'm saying dipping back into that slim shady persona production wise i feel like we got all forms of sort of eminem production this album in my opinion it took me back to like the early eminem days you know what i'm saying um especially with songs like brand new dance you know houdini like you know those fun sort of 
I don't know, poppy sort of songs that Eminem liked to do. And then we even got, you know what I'm saying, songs with like uh, Skylar Grey, Temporary. Usually those sort of radio sort of sounds that Eminem was doing at one point, like recovery days or whatever. But on here, I feel like they made sense in terms of like the message and stuff of the album, where they fit and all that stuff. Production-wise, I just feel like this, it helped the album flow like very well on here. Features on here were solid to me. Um, granted, the, the Toby song, I didn't hear the single before the album dropped. Kind of got Baby Tron mixed up with Big Sean. I don't know how that happened, but yeah. Um, I like both of them on there. Um, White Gold on all the choruses that he was on. I liked him on those. Scholar Gray. I don't know. Usually, I'm not one of those people that absolutely hate, like, Scholar Gray Eminem songs. But, yeah, I... I liked her performance on here. It was two features on Road Rage, um, Dim Joints and Sly Piper. Not sure which one was rapping at the beginning. I liked that song as a whole. Granted, I wish uh, the person that was rapping at the beginning, I don't know which one it was. I wish they would have had like a longer verse, but yeah. Um, but by far, my favorite feature on here by far is the Jid feature. Now, the thing about the Jid feature is, oh, uh, bro. I ain't for the first time, bro. I ain't gonna say that Eminem necessarily out rap Jig, but this is the first time where I can where I can actually say like, damn, Jig ain't take over the damn song as a feature. He ain't just take over the song. Like in my opinion, like I, I really like Grant. I feel like Eminem was gonna hold his own regardless, and not to mention I feel like his verse was also longer too. But yeah, bro, Jid got a habit of taking over damn feature verses. Like Jid is a real feature killer. So yeah, bro, for the first time I'm in like I don't know, I'm say a while. I can't really think of no songs off the head where I'm just like, damn, bro, like damn, like Jid, Jid didn't win on the feature. But yeah, I feel like this one was a tie. So yeah, and also with the controversy too, I seen where a lot of people they kept saying like. Oh, he's dissing Kendrick Lamar. Oh, he's dissing this person. He's dissing that person. And I don't know, bro. He's did nothing but gave these folks, like, praises over time and all that junk. And granted, if you look at the lyrics in context, like, he's speaking from the perspective of, like, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the people on the internet and junk that don't like the, the lyrical, the rapping, rapping type of albums and shit. He even had a line where he referenced Kendrick again when he was like, you know what I'm saying? You better off going against Kendrick Lamar uh, versus going against me. I think that's how the lyric go. But yeah, bro. To me, that was just a reference because, you know what I'm saying? Even Kendrick Lamar referenced Pusha T on Euphoria. Like, that's where it comes from, you know what I'm saying? Fuck all that pushing P. Let me see you pushing T. Granted, it is competition and stuff at the end of the day. I would love to see, like, Eminem and Kendrick, you know, hop on the track or whatever together at some point. Really want to see Jid and Kendrick, but... You know what I'm saying? It's just in the spirit of competition and stuff, bro. People trying to make shit bigger than what it is. Now, as far as the narrative on here, the album is called Death to Slim Shady. So, pretty much on here is like Slim Shady and sort of like came back to, you know what I'm saying, take over or whatever. In the beginning, skits like Trouble, All You Got. In my opinion, those are like, you know, intra Slim Shady. Uh, Trouble was sort of like, you know what I'm saying, I feel like Slim trying to get like... He's playing like a, I don't know, devil on the shoulder or some shit. Like, telling Marshall, like, hey, drink this. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, the whole time, it's like a inner conflict between Marshall and Eminem. And the thing is, Slim Shady's looking at the whole thing like, hey, bro, if it went for me doing all this controversial stuff and, you know, all this, you know, all this crazy shit back in the day, you wouldn't be who you was. Like, that's why your music and all this stuff sound the way it do and all that other junk. People ain't fucking with it. In which, like, all that junk sort of come to a head on guilt, Guilty Conscience too, which I was expecting, I ain't gonna lie, I was sort of expecting sort of like a, um... I don't know, like a funnier vibe, kind of like Guilty Conscious 1 with uh, Dr. Dre, but with the breaking news skit that came before that, eh, I kind of should have known what the hell was going to happen, but yeah, Guilty Conscious 2, that's sort of like the climax of the whole album, where like Eminem and Marshall have like a versus, and yeah, they go back and forth about everything, so this come to Jesus moment, sort of breaks down everything, pretty much like... Slim's like, you know what I'm saying, shit, you, you, you created me so you can have an excuse for being evil and saying all this crazy shit and all that junk, and, like, even breaking down just the whole thing of, like, you know, getting bullied and all that stuff, like, just, you know, how you gonna... How you, you know, how you get bullied in school and pretty much you grow up to become the damn bully and all of that. Marshall's on there like, shit, like, bruh, 
yeah, you the reason for all this junk, but at the same time, it's like, bro, look at all the, like, look at all the shit that, that didn't happen. Look at all the shit that didn't, that didn't been caused because of the controversial shit, you know what I'm saying? But then at the Eminem just, but then Slim Shady just like, so? So? At the same time, it's like you, you, you trying to be me. You trying to do all this, like, satire and all this stuff, but you ain't got that same fire that you used to have. You ain't got that fire, you know what I'm saying, that I gave you. And then the end of the uh, song or whatever, Marshall ends up shooting Slim Shady, supposedly killing Slim Shady. And, um, you know what I'm saying, and then we get to, like, you know, the serious sort of songs, in my opinion, with, like, Temporary, Somebody Save Me, Temporary. That's, like, a tearjerker song or whatever with Skylar Gray on um, the thing about it. He got, um, he got his daughter, like, Haley. He got, like, clips and stuff of, you know what I'm saying, when she was a baby, like Eminem, you know what I'm saying? He playing with her and all that stuff. Like, you know, he had talking in the background and junk. Like, it's just, it's, a, it's one of them... I feel like it's a it could be a real tearjerker moment, bro. Cause I was just like, damn, bro, this is, bro, this is this is nice. Like this is nice how you put all this together, and then it's just kind of like, I don't know, this on the way the song gets set up is on some like play this when I'm gone type shit, you know. Like everything, you know, you 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 hurt, you crying right now because I'm gone, but at the same time, everything is temporary. This pain is temporary, and everything will be good. But then some. Then you get to somebody save me though. Some somebody save me was kind of confusing because I'm like somebody save me sound like I don't know. Sound like somebody dead in um. Sound like somebody dead in relapse and you know what I'm saying they trying to come back you know out of a hole or whatever. So I was confused and then not to mention guess who's back. I bro I don't know who that is to be doing a little voice. I feel like that slim slim that's his slim shady persona or whatever. But yeah, um, pretty much I don't think slim shady's dead or anything like that i don't think he's gonna retire the slim shady persona i don't know just based on the whole based on what i'm getting from this album whatever it don't sound like slim shady's actually dead and i don't know hopefully this is like this turns into like i don't know like a, a part two type of thing maybe we get like i don't know death of slim shady or resurrection of slim shady overall i feel like this is a great album i feel like he got back to that early eminem that a lot of people fell in love with in the first place. Controversy, all of that junk. Production was solid for me. I feel like you got all forms of what Eminem has done over time packaged into one thing production-wise, and the features did their thing. I love the Jed feature. I would love to hear those two on the track again. And shoot, yeah, bro. And also, too, got to address this. I like how you address the whole male-male situation as far as, like, people just being like, oh, you shouldn't diss male-male because he's a legend in hip-hop and all of that other junk. And then when them just like, okay, I'm a legend, too. And I'm like, you damn right. You, yeah. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. So, yeah, please let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know how y'all feeling about this. And yeah, bro, this is T-Sign out once again. Peace. Thank you.